What's up inmates, how are we doing? I haven't posted anything for a couple of weeks now. I've just been manic, manic busy. The lockdown has just created so much business um, for a bike thing. We are constantly shipping. When I say we, it's just me on my own. I have literally, you, all you guys were out panic buying toilet rolls. I was panic buying Denali. I've had to move all my stock from one side of the workshop and literally I've got shelving all day down the side with as much stock as I could get my hands on. I wanted to quickly put this video out here now. I, I completely missed the opportunity that Denali announced a new software upgrade over a month ago. And I only just found out today because I've just been so busy with everything else. So have you got the new firmware on your CanSmart? So if you've currently got a CanSmart, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can download the new firmware to, to upgrade your CanSmart on your bike. I've already up upgraded it on my bike and let me show you the sort of thing it can do. Right, so I'm just gonna turn the ignition on. So right now I've still got it set up exactly how I normally run it. I've got my D4s, which I'm gonna be changing for S4s by the way, as soon as I get the chance to do it. I've still got them turning off and if I want to, I can make them stay on and I've still got my D7s on flash. All right, and obviously you can see the D4s get brighter as well. Now. If you've got amber lenses, you could do it with white, but I don't think it'd be road legal. As you know, you can get hold of amber lenses. Now, if you were to, let's say, put these amber lenses on here, obviously you take the bezel off and then you, you fit, fit it to it. Fire up the, um, the software. I'll tell you what, I, I'll record my screen so you can see exactly what's going on. Right, so now we're on here, as you can see my mouse going up and down. This is my current setup. If we start at the top, because we've got red circuit, blue circuit, yellow circuit, and white circuit. And then now, uh, first of all, this firmware upgrade will only work with Gen 2 CAN smarts. So if, if you look in your Gen 2, uh, the packaging, it might even be written on the back of the actual CAN smart itself. If it's got an O2 at the end of it, then you're, we're, we're good to go. So as you can see, um, if I'm gonna start from the right, the white circuit and the yellow circuit, I've got that as my, my right light one and my left light one. It's not important, it's just because I've I've unplugged so many different plugs on the back of my bike and plugged it all back in again. Rather than just keep on plugging and replugging back in to get it right, I've just amended it in the software because you can do that with Gen 2. So it was normally I'd have right light and left light on red circuit and blue circuit over here, but it doesn't matter. So I've got <laughs> right light one and left light one over here, which become a pair. So if I scroll down, well, as you see here, auxiliary lights one, that is basically controlling there. So if I go up and down on the, sorry, it thinks it's nighttime in here right now. If I go up and down here, it's adjusting the brightness. Now, what we can do is if I want to turn these into indicators and running lights all at the same time, so in other words, they don't turn off when, when you indicate, I can go right light one, and this is all new. So I can turn this into right turn and go to hit apply and then go to the left light one and hit left turn, hit apply. It's gone down to four amps. Just turn that back to 7.5 amps just so they don't uh, blow when they, when they peak. Right, so now what you'll find is, if I scroll down, you'll notice that the actual running light for the set of lights one has now disappeared. And we've just got set of lights two, horn, and turn signals. So what we can do, you'll notice that the actual lights have gone off. If I turn this up to, let's say, 20%, there we've got 20%. Uh, I've just had a delivery come. Oh, I didn't think you were coming. Okay, all right. Yeah, so I haven't sealed the, the document slip. No, that's fine. So, all right, so there's four in there, so one for you, and if you can seal it, that'd be great, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, cheers. Bye, bye bye. See, this is how busy I've been. I've literally just got boxes stacked. I'm packing like seven or eight boxes every day of bundles going all over the world. Where's my busiest destination at the moment still? Australia. Australia, USA, UK, it's just gone crazy. And I'm happy, thank you. <laughs> Coming back to this, so we've got right turn and left turn, and we've got run light intensity, and as you can see, we've got sig signal intensity down here as well. Now, if I take that down to, let's say, I don't know, well, leave it on 20 for now, and now you can see what it's gonna do. 
So when I indicate left, you get this. Indicate right, you get that. Still get full beam. I think we do. No, we don't. We don't get full beam. See, I'm just finding this out as I'm doing it. And there is no full beam. Like if I go to, because you wouldn't want to put it on full running light intensity for all the time because it'd be too bright. If I go turn signal intensity, obviously when we indicate, it's, it's like flashing full, full whack. Now if I go full beam, it's still not getting any brighter, is it? No. So we can play around with that turn signal intensity as well, which is pretty cool. So let's say we go to 40%. Let's indicate the other way. So it gets brighter. Now, if you had a set of these on, you've then got an extra turn signal. And it doesn't have to be D4s. It could be anything that takes an amber lens. So uh, the DMs, the D2s, uh, what else have we got? The S4s don't have an amber lens. The D7, if you really wanted to have that as an <laughs> indicator, it's a pretty big indicator though, isn't it? So just cancel it off. And if I hit hazards, yeah, they also go as well, just like they would normally anyway. So that's a, that's a pretty cool feature. I, I, I quite like this. You, know, you might have an application where you think, oh, this is a really good idea. It might help you make that decision whether you're gonna actually take the plunge and buy a Gen 2 Can Smart for your bike just, just because of this new functionality. Now, not only that, but if you had a dual B6 tail light or if you had two of these plugged in, well then you've got options because what you can do is just like we did here at the front, go back to my screen. Where's my, where's my rear light on here? Got a horn. Oh, that's supposed to be my brake light. Let me just turn that back to, Okay, I'm just going to put this back to right light one, apply and left light one, apply. And the brake light, for instance, we could go, okay, so you'd need to use two circuits if you did this. So if you wanted to have two rear B6s on the back, indicating like this wouldn't even work in, in the UK, yeah, I think America is the only place that you have red turn signals. So you'd need to use two, two circuits to actually do this rather than having all your B6s on one circuit, which that's what I currently have. Uh, I need to check this out, but I can't see how because you, what, you, what you essentially do is turn the blue circuit into the left uh, B6 and uh, the, let's say the yellow circuit into a right and obviously we've only got four circuits to play with so it's up to you if you really wanted to take up two circuits just to, so you could have the rear b6 lights flashing when you indicate so just put that back to here hit apply change that to 7.5 uh, and they've also added this other cool feature on the back uh, for, for the rear light so you've got the flash on emergency stop which they, they haven't had that before. So I always used to have it as solid on braking so it wouldn't flash, but you can have braking applied. So as soon as you hit the brake, it flashes. I don't like that. You've got a Californian legal option, which the other one had as well, which the, the, the old software had. But now we've got flash on emergency stop. When you really pull that brake lever, it's gonna flash if you're, if, you're pulling, if you're pulling it very hard. And then you've got flash on rapid engine braking too. Now, apparently that was on the old one, but it is very sensitive. So they've tuned this down a little bit. So if you're really coming through the gears and your engine is braking excessively, you're gonna get a rapid flash on that B6 light, which is a nice option. I'm not gonna have that turned on, uh, only because I've been there in the past on mountain roads and your engine braking excessively into corners and you've got your buddy behind you in your earpiece saying, will you stop braking? Because it's making him get a bit touchy on the brake himself. So I don't think it's per personally for me, me a great safe thing. Yeah, so what do you think? P pretty neat feature. Maybe you want that on your bike. Anyway, if this has been of any use to you at all, I'm gonna do obviously all my new future installations, which I am now booking. I've got the, the rest of the, I've got the rest of this month almost booked up and I'm already, already booking into June. Obviously we're taking the, the lockdown rules very seriously. No one is allowed inside my workshop. 
Uh, obviously, this only applies to people who live quite local to me, but however, we have got people coming over from the Netherlands and I've got a guy coming over from, I think it's Latvia. He's riding a long way to get this done. Um, but anyway, we've got nice gardens, got one at the front of the property and one at the rear of the property. And we've got a seating area at the front, which is under cover. And we've got a parasol that we can put up at the back. So we will look after you. And plus, if the customer, if you are not actually in here with me and I'm just as bad as the rest, I nat, 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 nat. So <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm on my own, I can literally work twice as fast. So you won't be waiting too long. So, um, but we have to take these measures and, and be responsible during these current times. Hope you enjoyed the video. I, don't forget, do not forget, I sell all this gear. I sell all this gear, you know, hit the link down below and take you through to the website. L look for your bike, you use the key, the, the filter section on the left hand side or at the top, depending on what device you're using, select your bike, go straight to combination bundles if that's what you want, you wanna buy a bundle of stuff. Don't just go through and just adding bits to the cart because there's deals to be had if you buy a combination bundle. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you in the, in the next video, which hopefully will be very, very soon.